boy, boy, oh boy, we're all going to be demonetized today, that's for sure. Well, the whole channel's demonetized, but you know what I mean. Uh, suppressed, maybe, is a better word. House overwhelmingly votes a bipartisan condemnation of Trump's withdrawal of U.S. troops for the U uh, from Syria. I wonder why the uh, the House would overwhelmingly vote against Trump withdrawing troops and bringing them home. I wonder why. <sighs> Let's jump into it. The debate in Congress on the issues is ex extraordinary for the intensity of lawmakers' opinions. Deep state. <laughs> Sorry. The House on Wednesday voted overwhelmingly to condemn President Trump's withdrawal of American forces from northern Syria. Despite sharp diversions over demo uh, democracy's Trump impeachment inquiry, Democrats and Republicans branded together and approved a non-binding resolution of 354 to 60 vote. That's a lot of swamp there you got there, Trump, isn't it? The resolution states Congress' opinion of opposition to the Trump pullback and says Turkey should now cease its military action in Syria. And the measure says the White House shouldn't present a plan for enduring defeat of the Islamic group. The House debate was extraordinary for the intensity of lawmakers' opinions. Republicans called the troop withdrawal disastrous and catastrophic. Democrats criticized Trump directly with Representative Seth Mullen, saying Trump has taken the side of dictators and butchers by not getting involved in a long and enduring war. That would benefit the deep state. Just saying. Among senators, Lindsey Graham, one of Trump's closest allies, said Trump's decision will allow ISIS to ramage and, and added that the president will be held accountable. It, it's maybe like they shouldn't have got involved in the first place. It's like Libya, for example. You know, we went in and killed Gaddafi. Isn't that a great thing? It's not like Libya has become, you know... You know what? Because now that we toppled Gaddafi, Libya is such a great place to go and visit for a holiday. Look, I'm not saying Gaddafi was a was a peaceful guy, right? He was a dictator. Sometimes the dictators you have are better than the ones that will be replaced with. But anyway. Amongst uh, so Graham said to Trump sorry, Graham said Trump's decision is against all sound military advice. You mean military industrial complex advice. He said, and he hopes that Trump will reconsider, stop the bloodshed, and rest the table before it's too late. He is trying to stop the bloodshed by pulling back on troops. Graham says that if Trump continues along these lines, then our foreign policy is in a very bad spot in the Middle East, and those that think that Middle East doesn't matter to America, remember 9-11 when we had the same attitude on 9-10-2001. That wasn't the attitude of Bush, actually. Was it now? Graham, you're lying. Bush was a interventionist in the Middle East. That's why 9-11 happened. It was because the US was, inv was in involved in foreign policies. He, he literally, yeah, how do you sit there and claim that this is the same thing as September 11, when you literally have the president doing the exact opposite? But anyway. GOP later, Mitch McConnell called the U.S. Kurds partnership a terrifying alliance that set that Olympic state group uh, back and said that he's sorry that we have, sorry, that, say again. GOP leader Mitch McConnell uh, called the U.S. Kurds partnership a terrifying alliance. Uh, I'm not going to disagree with that, but anyway. And that set the Islamic State group back and said that he's sorry we are where we're here. Where we are. Okay. Uh, Senator Roy Blunn of Missouri, uh, Missouri said that Turkish President Representative... Uh, Re Senator Roy Blunt of Missouri said Turkish President Recap Chipip and John, I'm getting that name wrong, has not been a reliable ally. The Kurds have been a reliable ally. 
Here's the US literally advocating for funding radicals. I, I wonder what happened last time the US tried to do this. Another Republican senator, uh, Florida's Marco Rubio, told reporters that he doesn't know what can be done to undo the harm that's result from the withdrawal. Rubio said that there are some mistakes that are not easy to reverse and there are some that are in, uh, irreversible. For his part, Trump said the US troops are largely out of a region of Syria where Turkish forces are attacking Kurdish fighters. So the Turkey launched a military opposition, oppos, opposition against Kurdish fighters allied with the US after Trump pulled the troops from the region this month. He, he was met Wednesday with a ta Italy's pri president, Trump said, if Syria wants to fight to take back their land, that's up to them and Turkey. Trump adds that a lot of sand that they can go play with. <laughs> wow. But Trump has defended removing troops from North Syria. He's also taking up his recent decision to send more troops to Saudi Arabia. Sorry, he's also talking up his recent decision to send more troops to Saudi Arabia to help the kingdom defense against Iran. So it's kind of like you're taking them from one area and putting them in another, isn't it, Trump? You know? Trump said the U.S. is sending missiles and great power to the Saudis and added they're paying for that. I don't have a problem with Saudis buying equipment. I do have a problem with military going over there, though. Well, I have a problem with Saudi buying equipment, of course. But, you know what I mean. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi also said that the White House has cancelled a classified briefing about Syria for House members. The, uh, the California Democrat says scrapping the meeting prevents Congress from learning about the dangerous situation caused by the President Trump's withdrawal from the U.S. troops of northern Syria. Pelosi says she's deeply concerned because lawmakers have a right to be informed about such decision. A Democrat congressional aide said that the White House said it couldn't provide administration officials to conduct Thursday's planned briefing. Two senator aides says that classified briefings for, uh, for senators was also cancelled one aide said it was because the key administration officials were traveling to Turkey, which seems like it's a, you know, somewhat feasible uh, uh, feasible excuse to me. Sorry, we can't do the briefings. You know, one of them's traveling to Turkey to sort this problem out. The aides spoke to the conclusion of anonymity because they weren't authorized to discuss the matter publicly. So, seems like the reason why that briefing, Nancy Pelosi, has been canceled is because they're literally traveling to Turkey right now. Just saying. Look, at the end of the day, I don't like Trump sending troops to Saudi Arabia, okay? If he's going to send missiles and weapons and stuff like that, whatever. But I don't like him sending troops, and that's that. I do like him pulling troops out of Syria. I think that's a good thing. So, but yeah, but I don't like him sending them to Saudi Arabia because it's very much like taking the troops out of one area and putting them into another. So, yeah, and I don't think American troops should have to die just for the military industrial complex. But, uh, but guys, yeah, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I, I don't know, it's a mixed bag, this one. He's doing some good stuff, but he's also doing some bad stuff. What are your thoughts on him pulling out of Syria? Do you think it's a lot of fear-mongering? Do you think it's the deep state or the military-industrial complex trying to go through and trying to get their money because of an upcoming election in 2020 and they need more funds? Or do you think it's a, there's a general reason why the US should be involved in Syria? Uh, what about Trump sending troops to Saudi Arabia and weapons and machinery and stuff? Do you like him sending weapons or do you like him sending troops? Do you think he should send one or the other? Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful, guys. Please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Don't forget to share because there's no way this video is going to be recommended to anybody. It's going to get buried. Um, but yeah, apart from that, guys, obviously, uh, let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Have a great day. We'll see you in the third video, but there's also going to be a fourth one today. So enjoy.